Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through Fresh. So if you are not familiar about Fresh, Fresh is a new framework based on the top of Dino and if you are not familiar about Dino, Dino is an alternative of Node.js. So a uh, lots of Node.js developers are uh, migrating their projects uh, into the Dino and uh, Fresh is a full stack framework that we are going to use in this tutorial. So it's already 1.1 released. Okay. Uh, at the time I'm making this video and this there are many cool features that uh, you can see in this uh, you will see in this tutorial apart from that uh, you you can uh, if, if you are familiar about next year's next remix or Gatsby this is similar kind of SSR technology that uh, uh, whenever uh, server side plus client side both by the way and we are going to use preact okay uh, not we are going to use it's a default uh, uh, you can say view engine or uh, that uh, library that we are going to use instead of react okay so uh, because preact is a very lightweight as compared to react uh, that's why we prefer to use preact and uh, let's go without wasting any time uh, so i'm gonna click here on documentation and uh, once you click here you can see uh, no build step zero config necessary just in time compiler tiny and fast and lots of new features okay so i'm gonna click here on get started where all you have to have is dino 1.25 uh, or uh, newer than that so dino is similar type of uh, runtime like node.js so uh, for that you can directly click here by the way d uh, no, not here sorry uh, you need to install manual manually from here Okay, click here. Dino.land uh, is the site that you need to hit, and uh, from here you can grab according to your system, and you can install uh, in your system. Once you have it, you can simply check like Dino. Let me open my terminal from here. Let me create new folder quickly, and I'm gonna name it Fresh. Okay, and uh, simply I'm gonna maximize the screen and open my terminal using command plus j or control plus backtick and here you just need to check node like dino have an f1 version like this okay so i have 1.26 and so we are good to go now okay so now the next thing is to create project for that we have a simple command uh, that we are going to hit inside our terminal like this dino run and uh, <coughs> excuse me and here i'm gonna use my project name so my project name would be uh something like app okay and hit enter so it's gonna grab the dependency like uh, npx you can consider with and it's gonna <coughs> grab inside our system it's it's gonna ask few questions like uh, do you wanna support uh, styling uh, with tailwind css so if you guys are not familiar about Tailwind CSS, this is really very really cool. The micro library for the CSS designers. Okay, so Tailwind or Tailwind according to your choice. You can prefer to pronounce by the way. And TailwindCSS.com. Uh, this is there are bunch of classes that you can say utility classes that you can use in order to customize anything uh, with very extend level unlike bootstrap <coughs> so but in bootstrap you have a uh, very few classes so you don't have that uh, kind of flexibility uh, that you will get inside tailwind css so that's why i uh, always prefer to use tailwind css it's not loading though it's completely fine uh, we'll get back here in a while so uh, <coughs> here i'm gonna choose yes so uh, behind the scene it will automatically configure tailwind css by default okay and yes i'm gonna use uh, vs code as a default editor you can prefer to use any by the way so just yes and here we go uh, you can clearly see a folder is created with bunch of uh, folders inside that 
and uh, components we are familiar about already uh, because inside components we create buttons input fields according to our choice we can customize okay and uh, <coughs> let me uh, minimize the font size quickly uh, it should be 22 hopefully and yeah here we go and command minus yeah so yeah this is the simplest button and inside Iceland all the interactive things we design inside Iceland Iceland is a new feature uh, let me uh, explain you in quickly what is Iceland Iceland gives you a fle flexibility of creating something inside a shadow component okay shadow component is uh, something that won't affect the rest of the other components so individual part you can instead of creating micro front ends you can divide this in terms of iceland so uh, there are few other frameworks like fresh uh, in future also you will get uh, flexibility to use vue.js uh, react react uh, Sevlet inside this iceland like counter dot view counter dot xyz so <coughs> this kind of flexibility we get inside iceland so this is a kind of future actually so that uh, nowadays we are using and uh, hopefully if you guys are not uh, familiar with uh, routes pattern so this is very easy let me explain you quickly inside api you can create api and if you want to pass parameter whatever you will create inside routes you it will be directly accessible to uh here okay let me start this thing quickly so the command to start uh, this fresh uh, project is dino task and uh, space start so i need to change the directory quickly then cd into app and inside that i'm gonna hit the same command and here we go okay uh, so I'm gonna click here on localhost colon 8000 and you can see this is my very first project inside uh, fresh okay and now why I'm using this command dino task start because if you wanna run uh, main.ts directly you need a bunch of permissions like allow net allow read write things and all so instead of that you can prefer to go with the task okay and now let me go with the basic uh, directory things that uh, is remaining like this one inside static you can all the static stuff you can put here like readme files if you are creating blogger kind of apps uh, inside here uh, import this is another uh, most important thing if you guys are familiar with package.json this is similar kind of whenever you install npm install whatever it may be inside node.js in packet.json it will automatically update things okay so uh, unlike that we directly use this imports where this thing we are gonna use instead of uh, this so it's it's hard to remember now so that's why we use this pattern okay so uh, let's suppose if i want to use dot env then i'm gonna use dot env here okay and uh, inside that i'm gonna uh, define the dependency or whatever it may be i'm not sure about that so like that you can or like for mongo for postgres anything you can define inside that main.ts is the thing that you don't need to worry about by the way this is it now we can start i guess okay so now let's go to another page which is this name.txt now you can see we are passing a page props here and that props through that props we are gonna access that name from params okay so let me go there in localhost slash let me use my name which is mahesh and you can see <coughs> it's not localhost by the way okay so whenever you will start this you will get this let me restart once again okay great now in here whenever i'll use this mesh you will see the message so this is coming from the props okay so uh, in the props there are multiple things like uh, uh, you can use url the current url okay apart from that there are few things uh, like underscore 404 i guess we use in order to redirect every uh, non-existing existing page to uh, this page okay so 
this is also really very important uh, if you don't use it you will uh, uh, probably the bad impression on the users if somehow they encountered to execute the unwanted pages so like the way you can define 404 so let me use h1 and let me use 404 like that and whenever i'll hit okay something like that so you will get this message 404 okay so uh, now you can prefer to go with the docs as well there are a bunch of things now another uh, most important thing is to uh, let me create a quickly new uh, page which is going to be suppose suppose uh, <coughs> faq dot tsx let me use smaller one and inside that i'm going to use export default function faq like this okay and uh, here we go and inside that i'm going to return h1 once again uh, i'll say this is my faq okay you can see this is build time is really very cool uh it 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 is really very fast as compared to others uh, okay and uh, inside here now i'm gonna use local school and faq yeah great so it's working though uh, like the way now the another thing is handlers okay so handlers is something that uh that is uh useful for to fetch the data all the APIs restful endpoints that you're gonna fetch the data with that handler that we are gonna create right now okay so inside that if you click here for fetching data you can define like this the handlers like this okay so we don't have any file yet but let me go with this example and uh, inside API let's suppose I have a bunch of jokes that's uh, we are going to return okay via this handler so this same as request and ctx uh, in request you will have a request parameter and in response you will return this response body that uh, you can uh, manipulate all the things over here okay so like the way you need to define handler which is also very important so uh, accordingly you will check the status if the status is 404 you can render some something else and based on the situations you can define the things uh, the another very important thing is the middleware thing okay uh, static files uh, Icelands we are familiar about routes we are familiar about the route middleware is another very important thing like here we define underscore middleware that like this okay inside routes only you need to create this TS file uh, so let me create quickly like in here okay so whenever you will execute any page it's going to execute middleware automatically according to respective directory structure that you are going to follow so let's suppose i have another directory here which is going to be mahesh let's suppose inside that mahesh i'm going to use uh, another one let's suppose my page dot tsx and inside that you can create another middleware like this okay so you can uh, grab this your handler let's suppose this one i'm gonna import here so what i'm doing here i'm doing nothing but uh, i'm creating handler and inside that i'm gonna store uh, the values like uh, your authentication bearer token you can uh, do the authentication stuff over here or all the request uh, mapping you can do here based on validation things that you can put inside uh, middlewares which is really very important though and the <coughs> flow of executing middleware is like this first it's going to execute this middleware then it's going to execute the middleware inside the another directory and so on and on and on that's it this is another very important thing then uh, uh, dynamic routes we are already familiar with or oh, what are the props that you're gonna use uh, that you can define in like this okay now let's suppose if you uh, need to pass 
multiple params so wh what you are going to do okay so for that you can either use a uh, dot 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 like instead of name you can simply write a uh, name like this dot 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 so whatever comes after this page like slash mahesh let's suppose or slash it's going to be uh, it's going to execute this page okay so this is also really very important if you don't know what's going next uh, so you can use this triple dot for that so apart from that what else uh, most of the things we uh, we have gone through already and the last thing is to deploy okay so for that uploading fresh you can prefer to go with this and dino have really very cool feature is to use dino deploy okay just one click that's it you can uh, post this thing to github and from github you can directly uh, connect this to dino deploy so let me go there uh -huh. and one more thing you can use this command dino update to in order to update uh, all the imports things okay so there's a one line command that is really very helpful and uh, the deployment stuff it's uh, you can click here okay or if you want to choose to go with the dockerizing thing you can click here and uh, just grab this and create a docker command quickly uh, and uh, inside here only you can directly create a docker file like this okay paste this inside that here we go that's it okay and uh, apart from that if uh, if you want to choose this deployment stuff you can click here directly and uh, the getting started thing and deploy this one so here you can quickly sign up uh, i already have account i'm assuming though so i'm gonna click here on sign in and i'm gonna uh, go to yeah already have account so you can create a new project quickly you once you upload the thing uh, it's uh, automatically it's gonna create a csd kind of thing okay so add github account choose your github account i'm not gonna do this now or else what you can do uh, yeah uh, environment variables you can add over here mongodb for post days whatever you're doing you can directly add here you can uh or else uh, for the sample things you can directly deploy from here like just click on play uh behind the scene it will automatically containerize the thing so you don't need to worry about the concurrency of your project and no need to worry about anything else just this one button and you're good to go so that's how that's that's uh really very really easy okay so uh, this is it i guess for this tutorial and now uh uh, we're gonna stop i guess so but thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside the comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and in future we are gonna create a dino plus mongodb dino plus pose race and other lots of cool stuff uh, i'm gonna create in a while so stay tuned and we'll be right back after short time thank you so much bye